here we are back again in Worm Unlimited. Today we're just going to have a quick look at prospecting. I know there's other videos out there, but I just decided because I never do any tutorials, I thought I might do this one because this is a pretty important one. This one's the one that you can get really frustrated with. Now, basically, what we're doing, we're looking for a uh, an iron vein. Now. If we look here, there's a normal iron vein. I know it is because I found it, but I just thought I'd use this as an example. Now, if we have a seat look here and we go prospect, uh, we're looking here, start to gather fragment fragments. Music, boom, 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 boom. Poor quality, okay, I, there is poor quality iron, but that one's over there somewhere, so we're not even worrying about this. We're not worrying about the gold. What we do want to find out is where the edge of this one is so from where the iron is if you can see up there I've got a plank over there that's pretty much where it is now I'm trying to find um, the outer extent of um, the range because basically what you have is a where your vein is um, there is going to be on each um, point of them it's a big square so you have your iron in the middle and then you're going to have three squares that will be in range on each northeast, south, and west of that where that iron vein is. So just think of a big, big bunch of squares. Your vein that you want to find is right in the middle, and you're going to have three squares all the way around it that you're going to be able to find traces of it. When you move that extra fourth square over, you're going to find that um, it's not in range anymore. So basically what we're doing here is um, we're trying to find out. Now, if I move up here... I I will throw a picture in so it makes it a little bit easier for you to understand. Uh, we're going to have a look here. And da da da. Uh, normal quality. So this we're pretty much at the edge of it. Now if we travel up here. Up, 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 up. Okay, and we're going to just, we're going to grab our little climbing here. Okay, so now. One, two, three three so basically if we move one square over from here we are not going to find our iron vein so we're going to have a bit of prospect right here could be quicker yep so no iron vein we move back here we find our iron vein we already know because we looked at it from here that was the outer edge of the corner so basically this whole area is basically seven by seven so yeah, we're going to have three on each side. Maybe I'll keep the picture up on the corner so everyone can understand. So basically what you do is you're trying to find the extent of your X and your Y. So what I would usually do if I had the rock is I would um, try it extent this way. And then I also would try it vertically up this way. But because we're lacking the rock on the other side, I've, you can do it this way as well. You can just do it basically... Um, these two edges as well basically because what you're basically trying to do is try to intersect where exactly your little um, your iron vein is now if we walk across here I probably could turn off my climbing here is our da 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 so the easiest way to do this is you go down to your extent and I know that at this tile here we have no iron vein so what you do is you go back to your back one from where there's none and we know that starts here and we go one two three and that's where exactly where your veins gonna be so what I would do too is I would head up here and find out how far if there was no grass I would come up here and I go da -da 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 -da, up to the corner find the last tile that I can see the iron vein and then basically I could pop back in and then I don't know if that's it right there one I was too high, two, three, and it would be here. So it's pretty, it's not too hard to do. Uh, basically, you're just trying to get your X and your Ys. I hope everybody understands that, and I've uh, explained it well enough. So I will quickly go again. Here's our iron vein. We want to find the extent of where I cannot find my iron vein, which is actually here. So basically what I'm going to do then is I'm going to find the last tile that I can see it. Which is actually here so this line here one two 
and then three and I would do it on this side as well just like we did before and then you can find your veins now the biggest problem obviously is when you have grass and when you do all those counting up you'll find that perhaps your vein is under here which happens a lot too um, in that case uh, you do have a chance to get under under the dirt level or under the water level but it can be hit and miss it's pretty yeah it can be pretty frustrating sometimes but just like here we find that uh, we found it pretty good now I also have a gold vein here and I know it's just in this door there it is there so basically it is uh, one two three four so it's four in so basically one two three Oh, I had a bit of a jump in frames there. One, two, three, four. So it should be right there. So I'll just grab this bit, this rock here. Too far away. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is stop. Open my inventory. I'll just drop this, drop this rock here uh, on the ground. I know we were reverse engineering this, but what can you do? So we go here. One. Can I actually run here? Three, two, one. There we go. I know I'm on a bit of a steep slope here. So we're going to have a prospect here. Am I holding my pickaxe? Yes, I am. Mining. Prospect. I should see gold right here. I see gold. And then if I move here, if I've done my calculations correctly, I should find Yep, see, no gold. So basically, we find our extent on our corner as well. And the only reason we can do this is because um, we know where it is. So we got to our last one. Nothing here. Step back here. Da -da -da -da. One, two, three. And here's our gold vein. So there we go. Not too bad. So hopefully you understand that. Um, the picture's there to have a look at. Hopefully I'll explain, explain it okay. You know, it's a little bit of a system really, isn't it? Um, but you can pinpoint um, uh, veins really accurately, and uh, I've done it many times. Um, and um, yeah, you can pin pin them, you know, find them really easily if you can just get access to the rock. Anyway, there we go. Uh, there's our little um, little tutorial on prospecting. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Throw us a like and a subscribe if you like what you see here. It has it's a little bit of in-depth little theory on how to do this, but it definitely need it. You need to get that that first iron vein pretty quick to do stuff. So hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you in the next one. <laughs>